A new fight tonight for suspended school employees. And a local pastor now voicing support for a former Kansas City principal following an alleged rape at Southwest Early College. Our new attend tonight, Jenna Hanchard, shows us why the pastor wants the principal back. Well, that pastor and several other church leaders came here tonight to say that they have a stake in the future of the staff and the students at Southwest and say that it's unfair that they're living under a cloud of uncertainty. We fear that the district is setting up Dr. Richardson and the, and the teachers as scapegoats. Father John Spicer is fighting for a local principal who was put on leave after a student with autism was allegedly raped at Southwest Early College campus. We want the district to bring the investigation to a conclusion so that the principal and the teachers can move on with their lives if that's what they need to do. Father Spicer leads a coalition of local churches that have supported the staff and students at SWEC for years. He claims Dr. Ed Richardson tried to take steps to make SWEC more safe. Well, from what Dr. Richardson has told us, um, he requested additional security in the building months before the attacks in April took place. The district says it is happy to work with local churches to improve SWEC and other schools, but couldn't disclose further details. It is, it is a personal matter and it is an ongoing legal investigation, and the administration will have comment when it has come to a resolution. Now, as a principal and six teachers are stuck in limbo, a local church community is begging a district and a community to come together. Well, because it's our school in the same sense that uh, the other schools around our churches in Brookside, you know, we're, we're all tied together, we're all a community. The district has said that they are looking for a new principal at Southwest. Reporting live downtown, Jenna Hanchard, 41 Action News.